Howdy fellas, Mugman here, and welcome back to Mugman Plays Doom Eternal. So in the last episode, we went deep into the cultist base and had quite a duel with what we came to know as the Doom Hunters. Pretty difficult monsters, I must say, but we managed to take them down without too much effort. And in this episode, we are continuing forth on our campaign of carnage. But where we're heading is the big question. Let's find out, shall we? Back at the Fortress of Doom. Our uh oh, is being corrupted. that's not good. This game has oh, that's the con maker. I will have her transmission removed in a moment. Yes, this thank you, Vega. The priests. Earth will fall, and my people will survive. I sincerely doubt that. Oh, that ain't a jab at religious dogma. She knows the systems well. The final priest will be moved to a more discreet location. You mean one that so we'll just have to search out and find? Without further disruption. Uh huh. Okay, good to know. The third hell priest signal is no longer visible to us. Okay. There is a well, that's a problem. Three percent increase of demonic activity at the nexus of the initial invasion. Oh shoot! That is the largest gore nest on Earth. Oh boy! Set the portal coordinates for the super gore nest now. Super gore nest. Oh boy! Well, looks like we got a big thing to acquire the ballista. Okay. Uh, what's the? Oh, is that the big thing down there? Ooh, new toy to play with. Yes. Let's take that, shall we? Oh, whoa. That's a big toy. Oh, I like this. That is cool. All right. Definitely glad we got that. Uh, before we get going, though, I believe we have another key that we can use here. All right. Let's unlock it. Yep. Two out of six. Soon, we'll have the Unmaker in our possession. Now then, we've got some sentinel batteries that we can use, and I see that there's some mods. So let's use a few of them to get the two mod cases open, shall we? Slot that in, and turn that crank! Alright, seems like every door we have to open is going to require at least two batteries. So, slot it in, and give it a twist! Alright, so since we just got the ballista, let's get a mod for it, shall we? We got the Arbalest which is sort of like a charge bolt, and wow, that's effective. Or the destroyer blade, which has a sort of... Whoa! Okay, uh... I'm gonna be getting both upgrades for this bad boy. That is a given. So I'll just take that. Thank you. Ooh, the arbalest looks kind of cool. I also love the way, like, the beam is sort of charged in there. It's like a glowing crossbow bolt. I dig that. All right, let's unlock the other mod. Get that taken care of. Give it a twist. And accept. Slot that bad boy in there. Just shove. Seriously, that thing must be hefty. All right, and let's... Oh, no, not what I wanted to do. Let's get ourselves the destroyer blade. Because, hey, might as well have our options open. And plop. Alright, so this is the destroyer blade. Whoa! Okay, I gotta admit, I love the chains on the side. Really gives it a much heavier look. Alright, so now that we've got the ballista, let's head for the super gore nest and let's see what we gotta do with this place. Because if it's that big, then we've got our work cut out for us. Right, let's charge this thing, see what it does. It's a little bit on the slow side, but I'm sure we can work with it. But let's switch to the Arbalest for now. And of course, our favorite toy, the Super Shotgun. The Super Gore Nest. With the elimination of Dieg Ranak, only one Hell Priest remains. As you prepare for the final encounter with the remaining priest, your plans are interrupted by the Con Maker. In an attempt to ensure the consumption of Earth, she has hidden the priest and accelerated Hell's invasion of the planet. The increased number of demons overflowing this from the Super Gore Nest threatens to overtake Earth. Gain access to the nest and destroy it before it's too late. Alright, so we've got to take out a giant Gore Nest, huh? Alright, our challenges are find a mod, complete both the secret encounters, and perform three glory kills on pinkies. They have to be different glory kills too, so we got to get really creative. Calm. You may notice a slight 
slight change? Uh, that's definitely more than slight, I must say. Alright, uh, hello. Goodbye. Alright, gonna get that meat hook mastery at some point. Oh, hello. Gonna set the lore page, always a good thing. Okay, so let's just hook onto that imp and boom! Gotcha! Alright, little grenade for you. Take care of the opposition and let's go! Alright, so we're just right in the thick of it, it seems. Alright, not too much to worry about at the time. Let's just chainsaw you to get some ammunition in. Ah, put the one up out of reach. That's lame. Alright, let's test out this arbalest thing on that particular uh, mancubus, shall we? Oh, that's a heavy hitter. Alright, fire off. Alright. Seems to do some damage, but not too much from what I'm seeing. Alright, blood punch for you. I think I took out one of the cannons with the arbalest. Let's try it again. Yep, there that goes. Shoot, it took three of those charge shots to take him down. Alright, so we'll have to use the arbalest very, like, sparingly. Especially because... Oh, there's a screw up there. Have to swing in and get that. Alright, watch out. Be extra careful here. Watch how I move. And remember, the trick to this is always stay on the move. Otherwise, you're gonna get blasted. Like so. But luckily, I've got 10 extra lives. So, I mean, it could be a lot worse. Flame you, chainsaw for you, get armor and ammo. Just to be safe. But hello. All right, let's get moving. Switch weapons. Oh, hello, Mr. Revenant. Okay, so let's blast off that cannon, and let's get the other one so you do less damage. And let's get the ballista out. Oh, that must have hurt. That's a very heavy plasma cannon. Yeesh, if I get the health, be smart about this. All right, things off for you. Ugh. Man, the strategy you have to do with this game is nuts at times. All right, let's arbalest him in the face. Oh, that was beautiful. Let's do that again. All right, might have been the arm, but still it works. Ugh, right in the head. Well, right in the back of the head. Well, more inside the head, but still, that's a gruesome way to go out. Okay, don't be stupid, Mugs. Keep moving. All right, we got one of you here, so still do for ammo fodder. Nice. All right, just got to keep moving here. Uh-oh, missile's incoming. All right, let's use the regular plasma rifle for the time being. Just so we get the variety sake in here. That and I think it will be useful against bigger enemies like the Revenant here. Because it just piles on the damage. Uh-oh, Prowler. Alright, yeah, you're toast. Ugh. Just imagine the pain that guy was in before he, like, bit the dust. Jeez, hello, Mr. Knight. No thank you. Alright, move, Muggy. Move! Alright, move. Can I swing on here and get the secret? Nope, not at the moment. I'd rather get it after I have kicked some major demon butt. Alright, I need help. Alright, freeze! Alright, let's hit you with the arbalest. Oh! Exploded right into a million chunks! That is gruesome! That is mega gruesome! Alright, how am I doing on the demonic? Like, the demonic invasion here. Alright, watch out for the snake boys! Oh jeez. This ain't good. Alright, whoa, definitely not good. I need health. Big time need health. Luckily there's some health vials around here so I can refresh. Alright, should be doing a little bit better off. Swing here, swing there. Almost did- Ah! Thought for sure I could get it that way. Where are the worm boys? Well technically, from what I understand, they're actually worm girls. Which, cool! Female demon representation! I dig it. Still, they are annoying freaking things, aren't they? Hold still for a minute unless you're glory killing them! Ugh, speaking of which, I need ammo. You'll do just fine. I gotta be careful. Ugh, working with limited ammo is no fun. Alright, I don't see any other demons, but let's bust out the rocket launcher. Wait, it's just an imp? Hmm, yeah, no, shotgun blast will do. Oh no, of course it's not. Okay, I'm tired of this worm thing. You know what? Lock on! Well, that'll do it. Alright, so anything else? Any other demons? 
Uh, this is just a starting area. I dread to think what's coming next. All right, so I don't see any others. I mean, at least not at the moment. Where are they? Demons! Ah, there's one! Chop them in half! All right, I saw some more up above. So, oh, hello! Yeah, that'll do. Wait, what? Oh, a pinky! Okay. Well, let's remember what they said about getting glory kills on these things. Let's try not to kill it right away. Let's try to whittle it down so that way we can get a solid glory kill on it. Nope, that ain't working. All right, there we go. And one! Okay, so that's one glory kill out of three. Doing good so far. Let's see if there's any secrets nearby. Supposedly there's one here, but we need some sort of blue thing in order to open it. And there's a lore page, so we can collect that. Okay, so what do we got over here apart from, like, rocket ammunition? It doesn't seem like much. Let's collect the armor pieces, and no, that just seems to be another way through. All right, we gotta climb. Oh, can't reach it. All right, climb up the wall, and then climb up this wall. Okay, play now. Oh, hello. Still do for the ammunition I've been wasting. Uh, excuse you. No, do not touch. Not a fan. Grenade for you. Oof. Nice double kill. All right, so... Oh, there's the weapon mod achievement. Okay, so let's go with Heat Blast. I want that next. And plop that off. I am kind of glad the Doom Slayer is now just taking what he wants from them instead of just bashing them in the face. That's a nice touch. He's learning to control his anger. He's keeping it only for the demons. I appreciate that in the character growth. Boom! Speaking of growth, these guys are growing dead. Okay, so where are we now? Whoa, hello, what the heck? You're cool. I like you. All right, what the heck are you? You're like some sort of Terminator hybrid. All right, watch it. Wait, hold on. I think I've seen those before, but I could be wrong. Honestly, I feel like doing this whole thing, like being separated from Pops, is messing with my head. I don't feel like myself lately. All right, let's get the health. Nice. I hear the sound of an Arachnatron. So let's bust out the heavy can- Hello, there he is. All right, got it. Good, let's try the Destroyer Blade. Charge it up. This thing is slow. Whoa, but it packs a punch! Instant glory kill on an Arachnatron. That is saying something. All right, back to the Arbalest. Let's get this guy. Got him. Oof, well, he's dead. All right, we got a weapon point for that. Let's get some ammunition back, just to be safe. And then burn you for the armor. Good. All right, so where are we supposed to go? Whoa, okay, we're swinging along, are we? Oh, hello. Goodbye. Hey, what's over here? Oh, that's where we get the one up. But, uh, how do we reach it? That is a curious question. Wait, there's a punchable wall. Is there a wall up top that I can punch? Yes, there is! Awesome! All right, let's get that. All right, a door just opened up, so, uh, you'll do for the extra armor. All right, let's get the- wait, hold on, I heard a pink- Hello! Nope. Ah, shoot! I could have glory killed that. Whoops! My bad! Well, at least we got a Praetor suit token, so that's a plus. Okay, so we need to go up, which means we gotta swing on these bars to get up. And I'm assuming we're gonna have to do a double swing. Alright, up we go! Nice! Oh, what's this? Lots of rocket stuff and a... Aww, it's a little shielded guy toy! That's adorable! Alright, moving on. Gotta focus. Buff totems. Okay. The increase the speed and damage of nearby de- Oh, great. So in other words, it's an enhancer. That's just delightful. And of course there'd be one like right away. Great. Okay, so we've got to take out buff demons now. Okay, let's do this. Let's try to take them down as fast as possible and as efficiently as possible too. We're gonna need armor and such. Oh gosh. We're nearly dead already. Great. Burn them. Oh, whoa, that is one fast prowler. Yeah, prowlers definitely get a boost with this thing. I don't like that at all. 
Hopefully we don't have to deal with buff totems too much. All right? Whoa, gee, whoa, you are quick! But not quick enough. Ugh. Talk about a neck snap. All right, where the... Okay, so there's, like, teleports? Oh, hello, tentacles! Not a fan of those. Oh, crud. Oh, jeez. I think it... Yep, okay, nope. Back off, will ya? I'm trying to get a Praetor point here. I'll be taking that. Thank you very much. Okay, I gotta move before these guys kill me. Where's the totem? Okay, that's closed off. Well, thankful for the armor, but where's the bloody totem? This is not the totem I'm looking for. Although that's the gore nest, so good to know that's there. But where is the freaking totem? Ugh, well, there it is. At the very least, it's easy to destroy. Now we can have a bit of an easier time with this. All right, just gotta... You! Will you... Could you just stop? Freeze! Thank you. Is that all of them? I think that's it. Although there is the Gornest we have to take care of, so... I'm gonna equip the plasma rifle. And let's take care of this, because it is one of the challenges. Let's go. All right, 20 seconds. Okay, I see a mancubus. Two mancubi. Good. All right, easy. Get the rocket launcher. Blast them. 10 seconds. Take them down. Take them down. Five, four, three, two. Yes! Whew! Bit unorthodox, but we did it! All right, one encounter down, one to go. Wait a minute. Hold up a tick. I saw that. You can't hide that from me. There's a rune there. How do I get to the rune? Hmm. I don't like that that's hidden from me. I'll probably get it later. What the? Yellow Gorky. Okay, so we've got a Gorky now. All right, so I guess that replaces traditional keys in the hell world? Okay, that's a thing now. Okay, where does this lead? Oh, to the rune. Okay, so the next rune I will choose will be... Blood Feud. Speed boost after a glory kill. Whoa, that sounds useful. Could probably get good use out of that. But what to replace the rune with? That's the question. Because we've got three runes already. Huh. Out of the three runes we've got, I'm using Air Control, which definitely is useful, Seek and Destroy, and Saving Throw. Huh. Save, survive one death blow. Hmm. Yeah, I think I will replace that one. Because, in all honesty, it does have its use, but I feel like it hasn't been very useful. Alright, let's head down. Whoa. That is a pretty big gore nest. No wonder it's called the Super Gore Nest. That thing is massive. We gotta take that thing down. Okay. So we gotta be extra vigilant, it seems. Alright, take down that cannon. Good. Alright, Arbalest. Gotta move before I get myself killed again. Wait, what? What killed me there? Did I seriously get sniped? Shoot. What about precision? All right, I got a Mega Sphere, or a Soul Sphere. I don't know what that is, but I got it, and it gave me back all my armor and health. In hindsight, probably should have saved that for later, but I mean, I prefer to stay alive at this point. All right, eat that in your freaking gullet. All right, you can go now too. Oh, I actually got that with the meat hook thing. Nice. Oh, hello, quad damage. Hmm. Would now be a good time to use it? Motorcycles? No, I'm going to say not. Because there's probably a better use for that. And I have a feeling we're going to be back here. So I'm going to save that quad damage for later. Rather use the resource when I can effectively, you know, utilize it. Give me ammo. Thank you. I seriously need some health. Or something, because I'm about to bite the big one again, and I'd rather have some extra lives here. Help! Stay on the move. Uh, excuse you. All right, time to blast the cannons off. Speaking of which, I already did that to you, so you ain't got much of a defense or offense. Got good defense, but your offense is lacking. Thanks to me. Oof! I'll take care of you. Okay, watch it. Hey, bug off, will ya? in the mood to deal with arachnatron nonsense. 
at you. Come here. Stop running. Yeah, just for that, you get an extra burn when you die. That's what you get for running away from me. Well, hello, sister soldier and a gargoyle. You'll do just fine for a glory kill. Thank you very much. Freeze. Your life is mute. All right, we got another one of those knights with the two blades. All right, arbalest time. Oh, that is beautiful. I love the way it just, like, it's the pitch raises before it blows up. That's kind of cool. Don't touch it. Good, I didn't touch the upgrade. Saving it for later. I want to be smart about this. All right, how much more do we have to fight with these guys? Hopefully not too much more, because I could seriously use a boost. Oh, it's a revenant. Great. Just die, will ya? Ugh. Gotta imagine what's going through their heads as their head is literally getting caved in by a... Excuse you! I'm trying to talk here! Sheesh! I gotta wonder, like, how they're feeling as they're getting these... Ugh! Rather gruesome glory kills done to them. Like, seriously, the last thought's going through their head is like... Ah! Ah! Oh, wait, what the... Oh, great. This problem again. Ugh, even on the lowest settings, we have this issue. What is causing this? I don't get it. We've switched it to the GPU and everything. Wait a minute. That is the the gate for the key. All right. Oh, man, I'm disappointed. Even now we're dealing with lag issues. Like, we have literally done everything possible to avoid this, guys. Like, we've lowered the settings. We have... You know, switch it to the GPU instead of the CPU. I honestly don't know what else we can do at this point. Unless, you know, like, we get a stronger computer. But, at this point we can't afford that. But, yeah, just, uh, that sucks. Sorry, guys, but lag is going to be an issue, it seems. Even on the lowest difficulty settings. Or lower graphical settings. Uh, well, we tried. At least we can say that much. All right, we got another weapon point, so we're good there. Uh, no, not having that today, thank you. All right, so let's see what we have in terms of collectibles. There is a sentinel battery and there is something hidden. There's a hidden thing over here. How do I get to it? It seems to be walled off. Maybe you can enter from the other side? Let's take a look. Hmm, it seems like you can. Oh yeah, punch it. All right, cool, what's this? Infinite ammo. It's a cheat code. Cool, cool. Got another code. Now, the key is up there, as is a sentinel battery. So, how pray tell do we get that? Because I don't think we can the normal way. Maybe we have to climb up? Let's see. It seems like it's at a very high elevation. So, let's see. Can we reach it? Not that I'm aware of. Hmm. Maybe go through here? No, that just seems to be a shortcut back to this room. Which, hey, at least we can backtrack real easily. That's a plus. Hmm. I don't think we can get the key just yet. I think we're gonna have to wait a bit on that one. There doesn't seem to be a way to do it. Ah, well. Uh, let's stick the yellow key into this thing? Ugh. Nasty! Good to know what that does. All right, two more keys, huh? So I'm guessing they're gonna be somewhere over here. Oh, real quick, let's grab the extra life. Very nice. All righty, so I guess down we go. Ugh. All right, so what do we got over here? Up, oh, hello, and goodbye. I'm gonna master this meat hook at some point. Cause I wonder what the heck they could do to a meat hook to make it stronger than it already is. I heard that. I heard the sound of a pinky demon. Hello. Wait, whoa, hold on. What? You're invisible. I don't like that. I don't like that one bit. Oh! Still managed to get a glory kill. And that counts? Okay, so it's called a specter. Alright, so... Wait, didn't we fight specters in the last game? Could have sworn we did. Alright, got a carcass. Screw your shield, okay? Screw your shield. I don't like that. I don't like your shield. Oh, hey. Hello, Sentinel Crystal. Okay, so we've got to start unlocking new stuff now. Uh, hmm. I'm gonna go with ammo for blood. Cause yeah, the more ammunition we have for our guns, the longer we can last in a fight. And the less 
chainsaw fuel will have to use, which would honestly be very beneficial to us. Mm. Alright, so what's over here? Apart from some armor pieces. Mm. Doesn't seem like anything else. We can't go this way. At least not yet, it seems. Alright, so I guess uh, further down, further down. Mm. Let's do this. Whoa. That's a literal heart. Oh, hello. Nope. Alright, let's use the destroyer blade. Charge it up. And fire! That thing seriously packs a punch! And not like a blood punch, but still, that is effective! Shoot, I wanna upgrade that! That's really useful. Alright, let's see if we can cut these guys down to size. We well, cut one down, that's for sure. Ugh, I don't like these guys. Chainsaw! Ugh, that is a gruesome way to go out. Okay, you are on my nerves, so goodbye. All right, we have to gain access to the heart of the super nest. But how we do that is beyond... Hello! <laughs> oh, my favorite toy! Oh, there it is! Oh, yes! Oh, it's locked! Ah! Oh, it's okay. It's okay, mug... Mug man. All right, just gotta blow up those barriers. Uh, you die, please. Could you die? Could you not? Thank you! Now, give me your health! And your armor! Thank you! All right, now to deal with you. I seriously don't like the carcasses. Like, mainly because they do that shielding thing and it's really freaking annoying because you've got a strategy and then all of a sudden these guys are like, well, nope, here's a shield. It's stupid. But I will admit, it does make for some interesting, you know, combat encounters. Okay, I'm um, seeing a white suit. Do you need this? I believe we do. All right, let's pick it up. Rad suit. Rad? What's so rad about it? Oh, it allows us to go into toxic slime and water. Oh, rad is in radiation. Okay. Also, the other combat encounter is somewhere nearby, and there's a red key. Okay, so to make sure we don't waste the rad suit, I'm going to, like, jump around while moving, so that way we don't waste its potential, you know, life-saving energies. Gotta be quick and smart about this, you know? All right, there is a sentinel battery nearby, so... Oh, it's behind the fence. Wait, hold on. There's a thing we can punch. All right, we punched it. Where does it lead? I do not know. Don't be afraid. Once your soul has been uh -huh. consumed, your fear okay, will Okay, there cease. is a freaking sphere there. Honestly, these things are freaky looking. Like, just the face. Talk about uncomfortable. All right, so we're getting close to a Praetor suit token. At least I think. Also, I believe the Sentinel battery was somewhere back there. Like, just based on the map, it seems like we could go, like, aha, we could. All right, so we're going this way. I'm going to climb up and get that battery. Sweet. Never leave home without one. You never know what could use a charge. Speaking of which, got a charge for the chainsaw. Oh, those things shoot fireballs. I wasn't noticing that before. All right, up we go. Okay, now we can continue on our path. All right, I ain't afraid of nothing. I'm Mighty Mugs. Okay, so we've got another one of these. Okay, so I wonder how we're supposed to handle this. I believe the key is right above us, but I want to take care of this encounter. Wait, hold on. There is another secret down there. We'll probably get that later. All right, here we go. What do we got? 25 seconds. Okay, hello, Mancubus. Okay, let's just not even waste time. Rocket to the face. All right, take care of you. Oh, crud, that's wasting time. And I see that there's a carcass. Oh, it's down there. Okay, 10 seconds. Nine, eight, seven, six, five, four. All right, we did it. All right, recharge the radiation suits. What's this? Oh, it teleports us right back up. Cool. All right, so I think we did all the challenges save for the one pinky thing. So hopefully we can find another pinky and do a unique glory kill on that. Got the red key, so we are good. Access to the heart chamber. Well, that's good. At least now we can get started on breaking that thing's heart. All right, we got another life. Oh, pick up 20 extra lives in a single save slot. Well, glad I did that, I suppose. Now the question in lies, where the flip a dip am I supposed to go? Okay, so I picked it up. Oh, it just opens the door. All right, any other secrets I should worry about? Not at the... M Wait a minute. Hold up. It's down here, I think, because look at the map. It diverges. All right, so let's go. Aha! Secret tunnel! I 
almost left a secret behind. And it was, no, oh, it's a Revenant toy. Seriously, the Doom Slayer is quite the avid Funko Pop collector. Or uh, Nendoroid, whichever you prefer. Okay, so now we've got the key. Does that mean we can get my favorite weapon of all time? Oh, <laughs> come to Mugman! Whoa! Uh oh, oh, yes! Yes! <laughs> yes! Yes, 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 yes! Oh, that's lovely. Oh, I'm happy. Oh, I can't wait to get mods for this thing. This is gonna be so fun to use! Oh, you remember the last game where it had that one thing? It was like a mobile turret, and you could just run and shoot with it? Oh! <laughs> oh, I look forward to seeing what they do with this game. Oh, this is gonna be great! Okay, so... What do we do here? Two nearby control terminals will need to be manually activated to okay. Power. So where's the... Okay, that one's locked. Now. Oh, there's one over here. Alright, so let's flip the switch. And let's start the power, shall we? Okay, it seems to have done something. Ugh, all the squelching noises coming from that thing is kinda gross. 50% of power has been restored. The second control terminal still requires activation to destroy the nest. All right, so we need to get to the other one. But unfortunately, I'm that door is locked. The door to the second terminal at this time. Well, ain't that a pickle peach? All right, well, we'll find an alternate way to get through this. Don't worry, Vega. You've done your best. All right, so... Oh, map. Ask not what we can do for you. Ask what you can do for us. Well, I could do lots of things for you, but I elect not to because your entire cult is absolutely maddening. All right, break your shield. Okay, so now we've got to go through that teleporter type thingy, because that's what they are. They're like teleporters. All right, so that takes care of that. What's over here? Wait, there's a mod over there. I see a weapon mod. I can upgrade my chain gun. Speaking of which, where is that beautiful thing? It led! Well, a much shinier lead, but still, I like it. I definitely prefer the- Excuse you, you can bug off and die! Well, that was a little gruesome. Anywho, I definitely think I prefer, you know, this chain gun to the old one, just on aesthetics alone. It looks really cool. Alright, open up the skull switch. And does that open up the teeth here? Oh, uh, yes it does! Hello! Okay, what are the mods for this beautiful thing? All right, let's see. The mobile turret. Okay, that's back. Awesome. And energy shield. Okay, so you can create a shield that you can use with the turret? Ooh. Oh, that's tempting. That's tempting. Mm. Ah, I'm going to go with the oldie, but Goldie's a mobile turret. I have to. Like, seriously, look at this thing. All right, give me that mod. All right. Oh, look at that. Oh, that's lovely. Hold on. I'm going to I'm going to hit the thing. Oh, it's four turrets? Oh. <laughs> yes. Oh, I'm going to have fun with this. Wait, hold on. Can I upgrade it now? Do I have enough points to upgrade it now? Oh, I have 14. Do I have enough? Okay. Oh. Oh, I guess I do. Guess I do. Okay. 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 Let's get fast gunner. Yes. Okay, what's our mastery challenge? What's the mastery challenge? Okay. Five enemies during a single turret deploy ten times without overheating. Okay, that sounds simple. I think I could do that. All right. Uh-oh. Another buff totem. All right, let's move and try to find the totem. Doesn't seem to be anywhere here, but where does this lead? This might give me some answers. Hello and goodbye to you. All right. Whoa. Long way down. With the extra life. All right. This leads to somewhere, but I don't know where. All right, we're higher up now. That's good. Oh, there's the totem. All right, that takes care of that, and you can... Ugh, green cocko demon. You know what? Freeze! Eat double barrel... Oh, you know what? Give me your health! Give me your health! Ugh, annoying sons of guns. All right, you know what? Let's use the mobile turret, shall we? Oh, this is cathartic. <laughs> Although that is definitely an ammo waster. I have got to be... Very careful how I utilize that in the future. Okay, so from what I'm seeing, we've got to go this way. The only way to do so is by using this beam. So here we go. And double dash, got it. All right, so 
let's see. We've got to push this block. Or punch, in this instance. Whatever you prefer. Alright, where does this go? Alright, there's a... Wait a minute. I see a token slot. I see it there. Where is it? Aha! Almost left this behind. That would not have been good. Alright, so we've got the token. So let's start making our way up, shall we? Although... Wait, hold on a second. I see something. Enhance. That's secret. I just noticed that. Can we reach it, though? That's my question. Because we're going towards a building. There's a sentinel battery there, too. Ow! 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 Ugh, I don't like getting burned. It's a nasty feeling. All right. Here we go. All right. Ugh. The devil's really done a number on this place. Seriously. Okay, so we're going to have to do another beam jump. So, just wait for it to realign, and go! Uh, one, and two! Got it! Main theme of Doom 3. Okay, cool. All right, time to go back. And dash, and dash again. All right, so we've made it. And we've got another rune to unlock. All right, so what rune shall I take this time? Hmm... Hold LT in mid-air to temporary slowdown time. Hello! That sounds useful. Chrono Strike. Definitely taking that on my repertoire. Alright. Charged up with rune power. Okay, so with that in mind, what rune do I replace? I want to keep my mid-air movement. I don't really need the farther away glory kill thing, so let's use that. Alright, now we've got Chrono Strike, which... Whoa! Okay, yeah, that definitely will be useful. Alright, let's see how it works in combat. Oh, that is definitely useful. I definitely appreciate that! Okay. Oh, hello, Pinky. Let's get that other glory kill, shall we? Alright, let's carefully shoot it. Carefully. Alright, carefully shoot this thing. Don't want to kill it right away. Come on. Let me into the glory kill. Come on. Ow. All right. I've only done a lot of damage to it. Got to be careful how I damage it now. Oh, whoa. Easy, big boy. Okay, there we go. Oh, right to the head. Aw, oh, wasn't a unique one. Gosh darn it. Should have worked on my positioning just a little bit more. Yeah, no, you're getting the blood punch and the glory kill treatment. Seriously, these guys are like biomechanical terminators. And I know what you're thinking. Yeah, they're already biomechanical because of the skin they wear, you know. But I'm saying, like, it's much more beastly, you know. Like, it has a much more, like, visceral and beastly feel to it, you know. Like a monster Terminator, almost. Oh, God, please don't use that in the next Terminator movie. It was already bad enough with Dark Fate, okay? Uh, sorry, I was not a fan of that particular film. All right, okay, so we've got another rad suit, so we're good there. Uh, let's keep moving, shall we? All right, what do we got over here? Whoa. Okay, a very radiated area. All right, let's move over to the wall. Let's make our way slowly. And jump on this wall. Ugh. All right, what do we got up here? Oh, another token. Definitely taking that. All right, thank you, good sir. Okay, so we need to get to this wall, which isn't too hard to reach. Honestly, I do appreciate that most walls are pretty easy to get to. All right, so we need a blue key, it seems. Right, first off, definitely chainsawing you to get some ammunition, as well as armor. Oh, great, you. All right, let's try out the heat blasting. Well, it definitely charges slow, but it'll be useful, I suppose. Maybe once we upgrade it, we can get more mileage out of this thing. All right, so we need the blue key, which should be somewhere around here. Like so. All right, so did we get everything we could here? Yeah, seems like it. All right, so with that said, let's open the blue key door and watch those fireballs out. Ugh, talk about a concussive hit. All right, we got to go deep into the radiation here, so let's be careful about this. Jump around and... Oh, there's tentacles in this? Ugh, great. That's what I need. Oh, joy, a mancubus is there at the end of the tunnel. All right, well, I'm not in the mood for his nonsense, so you know what? Hellblade time! Fire! All right, did a number on him, but I don't think it's enough. One more! Fire! Oh, jeez! 
I really love the fact that this thing just tears into them, man. It is effective. All right, so now we've got the blue key. Let's open up the doors. And let's see what we can find, because there is a secret right around the corner. Quite literally, in fact. Oh, it's a little bunny. Wolf 3D, wondering about my loved ones. I wonder if there's some subtext with that. All right, there's also this that we can open. What does this do? Whoop! Oh, it leads up here. Wait a minute. That reminds me. The key was somewhere nearby, too. So does that mean we have access to it? Well, it certainly seems like we're getting access to something. I don't know what, but we're close, I think. All right, we're missing a secret, though. Like, there's one, like, right there. I guess we'll get it. Hello, Spectre. Ah! Darn it! Mwah. Should have waited and used a weaker weapon. Ah, well, we've got the Empire, the Slayer key, which means we can go to the Slayer gate, get the Empyrean key, and yeah, we'll be fine. Gosh, darn it! I misfired. Should have used a weaker gun. That was my bad. I should have planned that a little bit more effectively. Nah. Okay. So now we're back here again. It's good I didn't take that freaking upgrade. Oh, hello. Can I go back real quick? Because I missed something. I know I did. There's something there that I missed. I want to go back and get it. Can I go back? How far back can I go here? Not so. Okay, so I've missed my opportunity to get it. Well, if anything, I could fast travel back to it. If I really will, I could also, now I think about it, could just go this way. Because technically there's a hallway that leads back. At least I think. If I remember correctly, it, this this hallway? Um no? Well, technically yes. Aha! It was this hallway. Okay, so the one I'm missing is. Oh, it was this one! Right! Okay, let's get it. And it's the mecha mecha zombie! Alright, cool, we've got that. Alright, can we jump back in here? Awesome! Up we go, and now we can move on in the knowledge that we've pretty much got everything in this level. Well, I mean, except for the one kill thing, but hopefully there'll be another pinky that I can use as fodder to take care of that. Okay, so here's what we're going to do. We're going to take care of the monsters here, and we're going to take care of the nest. Well, not the nest, but like the gate, and we should be okay for the rest of the thing. All right, I think now is when we're gonna take that beautiful thing known as quad damage. So let's get out this, and let's kick some butt! Yeah! <laughs> that is more like it! Oh, with the slowdown effect too? Oh! <laughs> Slow motion carnage! Yes! Oh, that was satisfying. I don't know about you guys, but that, that, that just felt all right, so now let's go to where the gate is, which... Actually, now I think about it, where the heck is that gate? Should be around here somewhere, I think. Oh, it's back there. All right, it's through this, like, tubing thing. All right, let's climb our way up. Ow, don't fall in the lava mug, man. Okay, so... Time to slay. Now remember, folks, once you enter this gate... It's an all-out onslaught. So, let's prep ourselves. And let's get ready to kick some demon ass. All right, we're in. What do we got to deal with here? All right, seems like a normal cavalcade of monsters, in all, all honesty. So far, so good. Seems like the typical archetype of demons that we've come to know and love and hate. You know, all in the span of quite a short time, in all honesty. All right, so we've got some carcasses. Really don't like these guys. So I'm gonna take them down, blast them. Although that glory kill is kind of gruesome. You remove their core. Like, could you imagine that? That's the one thing that's powering you, and then this guy just decides, "Hey, I'm gonna rip that right out of your chest." Wonk. That is just a gruesome and honestly kind of painful way to go. Mobile turret time. Oh. You guys have no idea how satisfying that is. Like, seriously, if you haven't played this game, just pick it up, get the mobile turret, and just, just have fun. Have fun just blasting things. It's so wonderful. 
Alright, I gotta focus. Like, I'm getting too excited for my own good here. Alright. That! And watch the carcass. Alright. Oh, easy. Easy! Okay. Got. Oh! Yikes! That is a gruesome way to go. Ugh. Just imagining that. Getting your neck snapped. Not fun, I must say. Well, thankfully, I don't have that problem, because. <laughs> Bugman don't got a neck. My head just floats. Oh, and if you're wondering how I sleep like that, it's simple. I put my head on the dresser. What? It's not weird. It's just how I am. You try putting your head on a desk to see how that works. Although most humans can't. I mean, all humans can't, but kinky. Oh, crud, here comes the lag. Um, yeah. I'm starting to think the whole lag thing. Hold on, hold on. Come on. Unique kill. Unique kill. Yes! We got the Sentinel battery. Ugh. Ooh! We even got to appreciate it in slow motion glory. Uh, anyways, as I was saying, I think the problem in lies with the slowdown is that certain areas just have too many demons at once, and the fact there's so many sprites on screen, so many details, even on low settings, it's just gonna overload the computer. Like, there's nothing we can do about that. There's just too many textures on screen for it to load properly. Like, every once in a while, it's gonna lag. So... I'm really sorry about this, guys. It's just gonna be a consistent. But for levels like this, it's kind of understandable. I mean, it is a big freaking level, so let's try to keep that in mind for the future of this series. Big levels equal some lag here and there. I'm gonna try to avoid it, but if the level itself is too big, then I'm sorry, there's nothing I can do. But I am gonna at least try to mitigate the problem, okay? Okay. Anyways, moving on. I watch myself so I don't get killed. Watch you in the tail, and oh, we get to see that again, but in faster motion. All right, blast you, blast again. Just so you see down. Right. Oh, that ice grenade is very useful. All right, heat blast is almost fully charged. Let's use on a strong beam just to see what it does. Hey, can you give me some ammo? Thank you. That was great. All right. No, I want to save the heat blast for someone stronger than you. All right, that takes care of the Slayer Gate. And with that, the demonic corruption in this area is Dunzo. Huh, one other detail I do love when it comes to the Slayer Gates is that it recharges your health and armor. That is a good reward for kicking that many demon asses. All right, so we've got the other two keys. We've collected pretty much everything from what I'm seeing here. Apart from one secret, did I really miss something? I don't think so. The map is cleared. What did I miss? Wait, there's an area down there that I didn't explore. Huh? Did I really miss something? Oh well, got most of the things, I guess. Let's plug in the keys and let's take down this super gory nest. Which honestly just looks wrong. Like, seriously, it looks disgusting. Disgusting. All right, plug it in. Ugh. Just thinking about it, you have to shove a key in like a jelly substance. That's kind of messed up. Yep. All right, heading down to the generator terminal. Okay, down the hole we go. Ah, all right. So let's activate this. And after that, we just turn on the generator. Okay. Powering up. Oh, that heart is seriously beaten. That's a big beaten heart. I don't like it. The generator is now at full power. All right, full power it is. Oh, it was the Praetor token that I missed. You can now use the main console mm. to destroy the heart. Do I have a way to get back there? I mean, I could fast travel, so... Lower area. Let's see. How close would I be to the token? All right, right there, it seems. All right, so we're back at the toxic refinery... And I believe it's just a turn to the left. All right, so we've got the last token. All right, now we can get out of here, no problem. Let's go back to the Argent Energy Station. And let's fry this sucker! And with a flip of the switch, power is restored, and this heart has been broken. Ugh. Why do you deflate like that? It's kind of gr- Uh-oh. 
Oh boy. We gotta go. Like, we gotta move. Okay, gotta go through these doors. Let's just move. Alright. Nope. Not in the mood for this. This is a run and get out situation. Do not fight. Do not shoot. Just run. Alright. Ugh. Great. They're not letting us leave. Alright. Shoot a little bit. But not a lot. Reserve your ammo and just GTFO. Get the flip a dip out. Alright. Go. Alright. How much further we gotta run? Well, at least they gave us some armor for our troubles. Alright. Down. Okay. Not this way. Okay. Just move past the man. Goodbye. Alright. Go. 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 All right, oh, we only got a few seconds. All right, careful, where do we jump? Where do we jump? Okay, here, up, and let's move, let's move, let's move. Okay, and through the portal. All right, we're almost out of here. Just gotta find the way out through there. Yes! Oh, and with that, I believe we're done with the super, whoa, whoa! Well, that's one way to take out a Goroness, god damn! Well, that takes care of that. Okay. Well, that was the Super Gore Nest. Combat complete, challenges complete, and exploration complete. Full clear. Oh, just look at those bars fill up. That is lovely. Challenges. Weapon mod acquired. Bloody secret done. War pinkies done. Extra battery. Exploration. Oh, all 23. Codex, Sentinel, Rune, Empyrean, Toys, Albums, and Cheat Codes. And our awards. XP, of course. Oh, wait, what? Oh, this is new. Okay, so is this like the next series event? Cool. And I like the rewards. Oh, we can get a skin for the plasma gun and the chain gun? Wait, the guns have skins? Well, that's cool. All right, level XP, wow. Level 30? When did that happen? Alright, we got a new reward, which is the profile title. Okay, well, I'm gonna call it quits here for the time being, ladies and gentlemen. Oh, man, these levels are huge! I don't know how I'm gonna be able to handle future episodes, but hey, what can you do? Tune in next time as we continue our crusade of carnage! But until then, thank you all so much for watching this episode! If you enjoyed it, Please leave a like and a comment in the boxes below, letting me know your favorite moments from the episode. Also be sure to subscribe, hit the notification bell, and turn on all notifications so you know when this little slayer is slaying some more demons. Also, share this video around. Your continued viewership and support is greatly appreciated. And with that said, this is Mugman, and I'll be seeing ya! Bye bye